Hello there, Eruner here and today we will talk about Ithaca and how to play it in multiplayer battles. Ithaca is ideal for battles where there is a lot of terrain, a lot of uh, forest and a lot of mud or, or even t tall grass to slow down any chariots. As you can see here Ithaca does not have heavy chariots, does not have me melee chariots and uh, many units are lightly or even medium units so this faction is weak to heavy chariots but we got gonna use terrain, vanguard and some ambush tactics to win battles. Very first rule of the Ithaca always bring 4 warriors of Ithaca. They are the best, strongest, very efficient, you can vanguard, deploy them, stalk, they are excellent fighters, you can bring 4 of them, you will always bring 4 of them. That's the first rule. Then we got some hero to choose. Our Odysseus is uh, interesting with his uh, stalk, sniping, unspottable, but never put Odysseus on chariot. He cannot use abilities on the chariot. So either you are going to bring him without a mount, or you can bring archer hero, or even better, you can bring fighter ravager hero with blood sacrifice and terrify. Uh, after all, we want to win uh, melee battles as well, so I would start with uh, Fighter Ravager instead. Next unit to support our frontline is are these two: Heavy Sword Skirmishers and Spear Runners. Heavy Sword Skirmishers are solid mid-tier frontline. You can one card deploy them. They throw a lot of javelins. They are just to be your temporal frontline. Uh, but more impo um, importantly, you got spear runners, which are perfect for flanking. They are so very fast, uh, good flanking attack, uh, nice stats. They throw javelins. Uh, you will be using this all around the map just to use flanking. Then with the missiles. Uh, you would be thinking, huh, ambushers, nice tall unit, or exemplary ambushers, or even guerrilla stalkers, which have nice stats and deal tons of damage. But uh, the best missile unit for the Ithaca is Renowned Island Skirmisher. And you will want to bring a couple of them. Why? They have 90 models quite good shield, good damage output and they are very good uh, frontline unit as well with their attack defense and very good weapon against spears you will be doing well with this unit but be careful use them as skirmishers and as frontline together with your heavy sword skirmishers then as Itaka we can use some chariots uh, especially for this map, I do not recommend bringing any chariot. Uh, our spear runners will be much faster than chariots. Uh, then, judging on the map and opponent, I would consider bringing Cyclops. Uh, it is very funny artillery unit. Uh, you, you can toss boulders to provoke enemy and bring him closer. Uh, and here is Sirens. I do not recommend to use this uh, unit. Uh, it's very weak. It will die to everything. And there is Silence Lure. This ability is able to force enemy unit to chase and chase your Sirens blindly. It is. It has very good potential on the battlefield. You can make enemy chariots to go into forest or lure enemy hero or elite unit. But to make your battle simple and efficient, do not bring sirens. They are too hard to use. Only I can use them efficiently. 
So, we got very nice army. Uh, you can consider using young spears, maybe sword skirmishers or island club warriors later. You can do some long range uh, skirmishing as well as typical Ekian factions. But this setup has been tested and it's quite well. So, how we will deploy and how will our battle tactics and strategy look like? So, first of all, many of our units can vanguard deploy, but not all of them. So, let's start with our skirmishing front line. They are going to be starting in our line, we cannot vanguard deploy them. Similarly our hero and we can, oh we cannot hide these guys, but we can hide these spear runners right here. Then we can vanguard, de vanguard deploy more units, so we can we can have a look on the map. How will enemy deploy? First option is that enemy will try to be right in the mat in the beginning. And he will be trying to go forward or take the forest. That's the first option. The second option is that uh, enemy is starting in this forest. And he will try to be on this open space to use chariot. That's why we, we have to assert our domination in this forest and lure enemies to, to come here to meet our skirmishers. So, how to do it? We are going to use these heavy skirmishers somewhere here to be ready. Then we can bring our elite Warriors if Itaka. Hmm. And now the fun with fun guarding starts. Maybe we can deploy like here. We will want them to come here, so the remaining two can already deploy somewhere here because then we will move forward, maybe move into this forest. That's why we are going to flank them around here. It's very important to know where to focus. And then we just simply start the battle. Enemy will maybe see these units. We are going to move into position to start skirmishing. Uh, look out where, where enemy units are and based on that just adjust our skirmishers or just or we can move forward with invisible stalky warriors of Itaka. In the ideal scenario you want to sandwich your enemies, use flankers well to and move around. Don't be afraid to throw these units into the battle, they will survive and your hero will be needed when you bring your warriors of Itaka closer. So that would be it and see you later.